hello friends in this video uh, we we will discuss that how we prepare truth table for uh, all the five logical connective oh, okay so that we already discussed in my previous video so that we discussed that there are five logical connective one is not that is negation and conjunction or disjunction if then conditional if and only if by conditional so we prepare to table for all these five logical connective one by one okay so the first is first connective is not this not we can call it as negation and most uh, most of the time we will uh, show by like this symbol okay so suppose if p is a proposition if p is a proposition the negation of p negation of p denote denoted as like this with this symbol and we will read it as read it as not p okay because this symbol denotes not or negation so negation of p or not p so the truth table for this is if p we have a one input p the input for this p is either true or false so the negation or not p the output of this true true becomes false and false become true so this is just simple to table for the as we prepare for the not gate okay now the next is the next symbol is and or we will call it as conjunction okay conjunction and we will denote it by this sign okay as we already discussed suppose here p and q are two simple statements or you can say compound statement p and q are compound statement okay then the and of these p and q we will denote it as p and q like this so the truth table for this and or conjunction so it is as if we have two compound statement that is p and q so the input is true true false false true false true false so the conjunction of these two compound statement it is similar as for that we prepare that we have a truth table for the and gate so for if for the and or the conjunction propositional logic or logical connective if both the input are true if both the input are true then the output will always be true and for the rest of the input the output is false so this is the truth table for the and okay now the third is third is or okay we will call it as uh, sorry we will call it as disjunction okay and we will denote it as like this symbol okay similarly p and q are the compound statement compound statement so the disjunction of these type compound statement can be denoted as p or q so the truth table is for the two compound statement is p and q the inputs are true true false false true false true false and the p or q gives it is just similar to the or gate so the disjunction of two statement is for this case if both the input are false then we have disjunction value is also false the for the rest of the values of input we have true okay so this is for this is for or or you can say disjunction the next is <clears throat> connective is if then or we can call it as conditional okay and conditional and the symbol we can used here is like this or like this 
where P and Q are the two statement. So, here P is called antecedent, this P is called antecedent, where anti means before and Q is called consequent. Okay. P is P and Q are two statement where P is called antecedent and Q is called consequent. So, the truth table for this conditional statement is where P and Q the input are true, true, false, false, true, false, true, false and the conditional is if P then Q then for this <coughs> if for preparing the truth table for the conditional is if antecedent means if the value of P is true the, and the consequent is false, the output will be false. For the rest values, the values will be true, the output will be true. So, for this particular value there antecedent is for, uh, true and the consequent is false, then the output will be false. The, for the rest values, the output will be true. Okay. Now, the next is, fifth one is, if and only if, we will call it as biconditional. And the symbol used is, if P and only Q or this is called it as or single line like this. Okay. So, the state for the, the truth table for this biconditional is P and Q. True, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. And the biconditional statement is P biconditional Q. Then the statement P and Q has a truth table whenever both P and Q have identical values then the answer will be true. So, for example, P and Q have the same value true true the answer is true. For this P and Q have the same identical value that is false the answer is true. For the, for the rest value the answer will be false. So, this is the truth table for biconditional. There are some more uh, terms or truth table. First is converse. Okay. The next is inverse and the third statement is contrapositive. These all three statement are very important statement. Okay. So, how we can find the converse statement, inverse statement and contrapositive? Suppose if P then Q is a conditional statement, conditional statement then for converse for the converse we will uh, make it opposite statement means converse means opposite of this conditional statement so we will write it as if q then p so this is the converse next for inverse for inverse we will take it as not p if not p then not Q. This is inverse. And last third one is contrapositive. Contrapositive. So, we will take it as if not Q, then not P. So, this is a, how we uh, write it the, write down the converse, inverse and contrapositive statement for any conditional statement. Okay. And the last one is exclusive or exclusive or so we will uh, write it as p or q and for exclusive or we will mark it like this so the truth table for exclusive or statement is if p and q are two statement okay and the inputs are true true false false true false true false then the exclusive statement is P or Q and mark it as this. So, the answer is if we have uh, identical value of P and both identical value of P and Q, the answer will be false. 
the both identical value the answer will be false so for the rest value the answer will be true so this is all about that how we prepare the truth table of all the logical connective and in my uh, incoming videos we will explain it or use it all these truth table for finding the validity of a proposition or a sentence or an expression so keep watching my video thank you so much